What is going on everybody? I've got some new strains for the 510 regular vape carts. The uh, ones that are about 20 to, you know, 25 bucks out the door. Um, got uh, 12 new strains. Let me double check that. I think I have all of them in my possession right now. I think I'm missing one. Um, let's see, it's 12. Yeah, so 12. So let's go ahead and review the first one. This is the runts times jealousy so um this one has this mint rubber candy if you like runts and you like jealousy you're gonna like this one um this one's got some interesting flavor notes on it um really happy with it grown in humboldt county grown with love uh by uh cali paradise um and the next one is the dosi lotto Let's see if I get the, there we go, Dosi Lotto. Um, this one just kind of has this like chocolate, mint, peanut butter, gas kind of vibes on it, Dosi Dough and uh, Gelato. So um, also a very good one if you're into those kind of flavor profiles. I have a Lemon Cherry Gelato LCG. Um, this one kind of reminds me of like cough syrup, cherry cough syrup, that kind of thing. It's got that, those cherry vibes. It's got a little uh, uh, tasty note, say sweet fruit and tang tang, whatever that means. I guess I was in a mood when that was written. Uh, Oreos, best Oreo cut ever had. Uh, if you like Oreos, the strain, and you've had a good one and then the rest of them sucked, um, you know, I've only had the ones that weren't that great until now. This one tastes delicious and uh, chocolate cream, all those kind of vibes, uh, absolutely recommended, staff favorite. Um, grape Jelly Donut, it better taste like the name, and it does. So, um, you know, it literally, the tasty notes are Grape Jelly Donut because this 100% hits those tasting notes. Uh, purple Cartel, this one is delicious. If you like the purple dank ass gas, uh, this says dank 2000s gas, um, you know, that's uh, that's tasting notes on it. So, you know, if everybody wants to learn how to read our boxes, those tasting notes that say that right under, you can't really see it because of the focus, but uh, see if I can do that. Well, can't see it, but little, you know, you need to get your reading glasses out for some people, but uh, that's the tasting notes. And uh, Purple Cartel is the strain. That is the star of the show. Um, so this is a favorite of mine. I like this one a lot. So for the gas lovers, old gas, um, OG kind of lovers, um, that's it. Rainbow belts, archive genetics. This shit is on point. If you like rainbow belts, haven't had a really good one lately. Uh, the Talking Trees group, they grew this one. Mixed light, super, super delicious. All, everything I have is pretty much out of Humboldt except for a couple strains. Um, so yeah, definitely get your rainbow belt. Some of you have already tried the disposable and uh, you know, this is delish. So 100% represent or uh, um, recommend the rainbow belts. It's like a candy, that chemical candy smell that you smell when you open a bag of fresh, you know, rainbow belts. Like if you go buy that from a store um, or any kind of gelatin gummy candy and you open it up and you smell all those different variety of flavors it's definitely got all of that uh gas monkey if you like the gas stuff giving this out to a few homies and other reviews came back like hey i love that gas monkey it's good um very gassy diesel motor oil uh that kind of smell strayberries everybody knows the strayberries Strayberries is a super delicious strawberry strain tastes like special case cereal and uh dried strawberries so it has that kind of like you know just next time you eat that smell it that's what it is ice lemonade tasty notes john daly iced tea instead of an arnold palmer just you know if anybody's ever had an arnold palmer iced tea um you know that's kind of what this tastes like it tastes like iced lemonade it's super delicious very strong sativa and another moroccan peaches is coming back out um, I'm pretty sure this is from a different farm. This is uh, from Santa Cruz. Uh, so, uh, and this is mixed light uh, LED grown out of a beautiful area 
interested to see people's reviews on this one. If you see possible, that is the name on the back. Um, it says uh, farm location, see possible. That is the Santa Cruz edition where it was grown. And the previous Moroccan peaches we did was outdoor and it was from Willow Creek. Um, so um, I haven't even had a, ch a chance to really try this one yet. Uh, so I hope it's just as good as the first one, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Um, so that is it. That is uh, the new uh, 12 strains besides the Red Runts, which Red Runts is delicious. It's got a lot of blueberry uh, hints to it. It's a sativa. So that will be on the menu too. And um, you know, that one's honestly one of the best ones out of the bunch for sure. Um, I just don't have a box on me to do the review. So look out for the red runs too. That was also a Humboldt grown, uh, you know, genetic. And um, it is um, grown with love. Uh, and um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm smoking on now. This is the runts. Um, it's got some purple notes in it. That's why you can see a little bit of a darkness to it. Um, and um, this runs is absolutely delicious. Uh, grown by Freshwater Farms in Humboldt. Um, haven't met those guys yet, but they grow some fire. So the do -si dough we did, the forum cookies. Um, God, there's a whole bunch more coming. I can't even remember. Uh, so this runs, we're going to get more of it. And um, so if you liked it, there's more coming. Um, and everybody has to remember that these are all limited run. Um, nature does its thing. Sometimes they can last a little bit longer than others, but um, keeping genetics what they are and protecting the genetics, uh, that's a tough thing to do. So, and for us, um, we only are able to source so much and buy so much, and then we can't get any more. It's most likely gonna be out of supply for a year and then does the farmer want to grow it again so um you know sometimes you get lucky and you get a strain again uh but uh if you like a strain a lot buy as much as you can of it and keep it in cool storage um you can put it in a sealed bag and put it in a refrigerator um see you know but a wine cellar or some place that's 60, 60 degrees, 55, 60 degrees and sealed in a jar or something. And these carts will last a long time, um, just like wine. So, um, you know, just uh, if the vintage is good, buy as much as you can, just like wine. So that being said, that's all I got for today. Um, we got a bunch more stuff launching. Um, this is the next 12 strains that will be here in California, probably on the menu next Tuesday for all store uh, buyers to buy. And then customers uh, that come into the stores, the retail stores, they will be able to buy it probably midweek next week. Cheers. Thank you for supporting our team.